Psalm 121, I will lift my eyes unto the mountains, from whence shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord, creator of heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He who keeps you does not slumber. Behold, the guardian of Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is the shade upon your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. The Lord will preserve your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and coming in from this time forth and forever. Dear family, and dear friends, we've, uh, we've returned to this place. And by this place, of course, we mean a physical place of burial, but also today for the unveiling ceremony, we return to a place of, of memory, to a place of loss, to a place of connection to a place of family, as we observe the unveiling ceremony in memory of Fred Anderman. The ceremony, a very simple ceremony, we, on behalf of the family, on behalf of the community, we establish that the stone is, is in place and that his name is inscribed in stone. And in our tradition, that's the core obligation, is that there be a stone and there be a name written in stone. And Part of the symbolism is that stone in our tradition represents permanence, or at the very least, it represents those things that, that endure. And the stone that we establish today will, will be here. Even when any of us are, are no longer here, the stone will be here and his name will be, will be inscribed in that stone. And in our tradition, that represents legacy. Those are the aspects of our life that outlive us, and after one passes on, there are still certainly parts of their life which continue to find expression and continue to endure. We remember a man who was so devoted to his, to his family, so devoted to his profession, devoted to healing, who shared these beautiful connections in life, and those connections have sustained the family in, in the period of mourning, in the difficult periods. But we are here today to reaffirm his legacy and to ensure that the values of his life remain etched not only in the stone, but in our hearts, in our hearts as well. I'd like at this time to invite the family to unveil, to unveil the stone. We'll invite his <coughs> children to come forward to unveil the footstone, and Eva will invite you to unveil the headstone. First the footstone. Stone reads, Ponitman here interred, Ephraim, Reb Abba HaKohen. Niftar Yud Gimel Sivan passed away on the 13th day of the month of Sivan in the year Tafshin Ayin Tet, 
and there are five letters at the end of the second line of Hebrew inscription that are an acronym that stand for the words Tehei Nishmato Tzirah B'Tzirah HaChaim May his soul be bound up in the bond of life eternal. Frederick Anderman, loving husband, father, and opapa, September 26, 1930, June 16, 2019, Chernovitz, Montreal. Dedicated neurologist, mentor, and friend to many. In the name of the family of Frederick Anderman, Ephraim, Reb Abba HaKohen, in the presence of family and friends, we consecrate this monument to his memory as a token of love and respect. Tehei Shmatot Surah B'Tzirah Chaim. May his soul be bound up in the bond of life eternal. Almighty God, eternal creator, we are grateful for his life, for the years which he was granted, and for the privilege of having shared those years. May his memory continue to inspire us that we lead better lives, help all who mourn his passing. Grant them strength and comfort, for you are our rock and redeemer. And let us say, Amen. Amen. I'd like at this time to, to open it up, turn to the family, uh, to offer words of reflection at this moment. <laughs> 